Here are the top 5 stories of the week. Naredco demands one-time loan restructuring for stuck reality projects. National Real Estate Development Council has urged the government for a one-time restructuring of loans and last-mile funding for stalled reality projects to rescue the real estate sector from the liquidity crisis caused by COVID-19. Karnataka enters pact with 23 firms for Rs 28,000 crore infra investments. The Karnataka government has entered an agreement with 23 companies including 12 multinational companies for investments of around Rs 28,000 crores. During the beginning of the pandemic, the government cleared over 520 industrial projects, including the MOU signed with 23 companies with a total of Rs 77,000 crore investment in multiple sectors. Tamil Nadu to set up flying squads to monitor under construction buildings. Tamil Nadu's Housing and Urban Development Minister S. Muthusami told the media that the state will form flying squads to inspect building under construction to ensure that the layout and approval are correct. According to the minister, if there are any flaws, they will be addressed as soon as possible based on the flying squad's reports. Tamil Nadu government gets Rs 28,508 crores via companies for 49 projects. The Tamil Nadu government through companies received Rs 28,508 crores for 49 projects that are expected to provide job opportunities to 83,482 people. The investments are in the power plant, electronics, industrial parks, auto components, IT and ITES services, manufacturing, food processor, pharmaceuticals, footwear and textiles. Hyderabad emerges as real estate investment hub for NRIs. Abhishek Chanda, director, Wasavi Group said that the Hyderabad construction and real estate sector is the most suitable investment option for NRIs, with greater return on investment varying between 12% to 20% annually. That's all for this week. Stay tuned at constructionworld.in for more updates.